Hey guys, it's Will with Military Lawn Cuts and I'm gonna be taking you guys along for the ride. It is a daily vlog. We have a few estimates, drive-by estimates that we're gonna do going out on customers' properties. And then there's a couple of broken sprinkler heads that we need to fix. But one of those sprinkler heads, we don't know if we can actually fix. So we're going to see if the customer is actually gonna be happy. We accidentally hit it when we were push spreading a while back and we went back and fixed the head, but he's saying that it still doesn't pop up. So our last resort is to completely take the whole head out and replace it. So let's see if that actually even fixes it and if we can make this customer happy today. All right, so this is where the magic happens, right here on Service Autopilot. Finally got my two screens up. We just are fully implementing uh, us working up here in the new headquarters. And I already went through and dispatched for the day today. So let's get out rocking and rolling and let's go assist these customers. All right, it is a beautiful day in Texas, everybody. And as you can see, most of the trucks out here are out on the road making that money. So all of our team parks right over here for all of their personal vehicles. And then underneath the big sign is where we put our mulch and everything of that nature. I know most of you are probably looking at our shop, our office, our trucks, and our team, and are thinking like, wow, like that would be amazing if I had that. That would be absolutely incredible if I could have multiple trucks out on the route making money and I could just be the only one doing the estimates. And the reality is, is you can. You absolutely can be the one to where you grow your business to a point where you don't have to be the one out there always pushing the mower. Now, it's going to take a whole lot of blood, sweat, and tears and to be honest, that took us about four years because we just purchased that property this year in February. It took us four years to build a $630,000 business that makes decent profit to where our crews are out in the field producing. And a lot of the times, you know, I'm doing estimates, being a general manager and doing those tasks dropping off, pick, picking up equipment and things of that nature. But you can absolutely build a business to that level. You just have to be determined and you gotta want it. Like, and at, at the end of the day, like you just need to start, just do it. Like when we started, I was out putting flyers on doors and I just went out there and hustled. And that's what it's going to take to get your business off the ground. So don't wait, start today, right now. All right, so we just got here to our destination right behind me. And what you always wanna do is make sure you check and verify the address because you wanna make sure you're quoting the right property. So what we're gonna be doing here is removing all of the grass and weeds in the flower beds. And you always wanna check both sides to make sure that you are verifying if there's a flower bed on that side, because sometimes there is. I will send you guys or show you guys here in a minute the exact video that we send to our crews. This is for 1236 Vernon Drive. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in here and we are going to remove all of the grass in the flower beds here, all the grass and uh, weeds that's growing in the flower beds here as well. And then we're also going to do this tree ring. And then there is one in the backyard on the back left that also needs to get the grass and weeds removed. And then we're gonna come through and install mulch. So brown mulch in all of these flower beds, this tree ring, and then the back tree ring as well. It's gonna be brown mulch. Now, once the video is taken, what I do on my job notes is I basically will just put a chronological order of what actually needs to get done on the property. So basically just going down, removing grass and weeds, pick up the mulch, installing the mulch, and then I send that over to our office, and they're the ones that actually send the quote out. So I literally only spent six minutes on this property right here. Now, when I'm doing that, you wanna make sure you're sending the key details. So what I'm doing is I'm putting how many bags of mulch, 
what color mulch, and how many budget hours on the job. Now, when you're factoring budgeted hours, it's important to know when you're just starting out that you're not gonna be as accurate as somebody who's been doing this for a long time. So an easy way that you can break this down is a quarter day, half day, or full day. That's all you need to know. You don't need to be going down each line, bush item, oh, that bush is gonna take five minutes. That tree is gonna take 14 minutes. You don't need to do all that. Just pull up. Hey, how long would it take somebody to do this? Would it be quarter day? i.e. two hours, a half day, can I get this done in half a day, four hours, or is this gonna be an all day thing, an eight hour day? It's that simple. All right, so this is the next one here. It's saying that uh, we gotta remove the grass and weeds in the beds. Probably trim up this great myrtle a little bit. Oh, okay, here's what it was talking about. It was saying something about removing some bushes, but it looks like these are what they're talking about here. So it looks like there's four little stumps that need to get removed. And then we're gonna go ahead and put some black mulch on this flower bed and we're only doing the front only here. Now what I'll do, especially when we're removing bushes, is I'll come in here and see how easy these things actually come up. Which it seems like, I mean, it just rained recently, but these actually would come up pretty easily here. So um, I don't think it's gonna to take too, too long. I just got done with that quote, it took me eight minutes. Speed is of the essence. Execution over perfection. That's what we are looking for. If you look behind me, we got quite a bit of the commercial landscapers out there. So for this neighborhood, I believe that they actually cut the front and side yards of these properties. So we, as our company here at Military Lawn Cuts, only have to worry about the backyards. They don't, however, do anything when it comes to landscaping, which is why we were here to do a quote today. Let's jump on over to a couple of sprinkler repairs and get the customer's satisfaction as efficiently and effectively as possible. All right, so we got our irrigation box. We've got some uh, flags. If we need to flag a broken head, we have our uh, hand shovel or hand spade to dig up a sprinkler head this is a this is a pretty big guy here but um but yeah we just got all kinds of like parts and everything in here so what we do is we buy these uh 360 right here it says uh 360 adjustable the reason we like to do the fully adjustable ones are because sometimes when the guys are mowing and they cut off this little tip really you don't ha actually have to go in there and replace like the whole head all you really sometimes need to do is replace this piece. And so oftentimes if it's near like a uh, driveway or something like that, and the head is right there on that corner, then you only need a 90 degree. But if the head was hit right there in the middle of the driveway, you're gonna need a 180 degree there. So what's nice about these 360 adjustable ones, let me show you here. All you have to do, see right here, it's closed. I don't know if you guys can see that. But if I open this up, what that does is that actually, so if I open up all the way, it gives me a full 360. But I can close it halfway just like that, and it'll give me about a, a 180 degree. Or I can go even smaller just like that and do 190. Let me show you guys what we're working with real quick. The best part about having good route density and great customers that are on multiple services is we just had a flower bed cleanup on this property uh, earlier this week. So all in all, looks really good actually. Looks like they got all the grass and weeds out of the beds. But here is what I wanted to show you. So um, this is the sprinkler head that got broken. Looks like the piece down here. Uh, got broken. It looks like this head is still intact, so we can probably go ahead and just reuse that. And then let me show you where it is actually located. So down here is where that broke off. So we're going to unscrew this. Yeah, so this head seems like it's going to be intact. So we went and picked up this piece. What's nice about this is you can actually cut this customizable. So we really need about that much of a riser here. So we can probably use, it looks like this high end and then just cut it there. 
So I'm gonna have to go get something to cut this. So I just cut that piece off. I can save this for another day. And then we're going to literally just twist that in just like that. Get it nice and tight. All right, now we gotta get that bottom piece out. So to get that bottom piece out, we're gonna use this tool right here. And what this does is it clamps. You just stick it down in there and then you twist it. So let me show you. I'm gonna stick this down in there. I'm gonna push it down and I'm just gonna twist. And that will remove what we need to. Take our sprinkler head here and literally just twist this right back down in. Give a little bit of pressure here. All right, now what we're going to recommend to the customer is to get, I'm gonna tighten it down a little bit more, but what we're gonna do is have them uh, get some dirt. So this is, this is exposed for the foundation here. This is not good. More rain and water is just gonna wash this dirt out. So we're gonna definitely highly recommend that they get some dirt here, fill that up, and we're gonna let them know. Sometimes if the customer's not home, you don't have the luxury of them starting the irrigation system and seeing which direction that this sprinkler head is actually facing. But sometimes if you look at this, so this is an old one, but if you look very closely, there is a line right here. So this is a 180. This is the way, that way is the way that it's, it's actually going to um, spray because of those lines right there. So if you look at the head, sometimes it'll tell you right there on top. Let's go ring the doorbell. Let them know it's all finished. The customer was absolutely satisfied, guys. We got a good thumbs up and a happy customer at the end of the day, which is obviously the goal to provide excellent quality of service. So thank you so much for coming along on this ride along video. Today for me, the vlog, if you guys like this type of content, please hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. Um, I haven't done one of these in a while, so I figured I'd, I'd break it out, you know what I mean? So basically for the end of day rest of routine for myself is I will go back to the office and actually send out these quotes and uh, any type of, type of particular email or job note that I had put on our uh, visits today, we'll go ahead and email the customers any communications of that nature. And then obviously end of day routine is to uh, ch uh, run P for P and send that out for the crews. But our crews will be having a longer day today because uh, we're a little backed up from the rain this week. But guys, I just wanna give you encouragement here that if you are wanting to start your own business or even just do this part-time or a side hustle, just start literally right now after this video. Stop watching YouTube and get out there, print out some flyers and get going. Action is what moves the needle forward for your business, for my business. Watching this type of content and education and motivation is good, but at the end of the day, you need to put what you're learning into action. So guys, thank you so much for coming along on the ride today, and we will see you guys next time.